So I have another CPC4 module here today that we're gonna be working on. This one specifically has a issue with the engine start and throttle, but it does have proper communication. So what we're gonna do is connect it into our system and we'll do a fault code check and see what the fault codes are reading and see if we can maybe get rid of those by heating the processor chip. We'll start by connecting the CPC4 module to the Truck Explorer software. And as stated, this one does not have any communication issues. So we're gonna go directly to the fault codes. And let's see here. So the ones we're gonna be looking at are the current ones. We have, of course, the CPC control hardware fault and the voltage supply of component accelerator pedal has short circuit to positive. So we're gonna go ahead and heat up the processor chip and see if we can clear some of these issues by doing that. So I'm doing about 20 seconds of hot air right now, just over the processor. And that should about do it. Let's go ahead and connect everything back in, power it up, and back to our screen here. We'll connect again. All right, back to the fault codes. Let's read the fault codes and see if we have any difference. So this is our new report and we have only one, two, three, four current faults that are thrown compared to, I believe it was seven. We have still our component speed sensor has an open circuit, can signal faulty high, uh, AP1 open or short to ground, AP2 open or short to ground. Now on the original one, we have the common powertrain controller, CPC unit hardware fault is gone. Expansion reservoir, signal of component pressure sensor is sporadically disrupted, that's also gone. And voltage supply of component accelerator pedal has short circuit to positive, that is also gone. As we noticed, we had seven fault codes prior to the heating and four fault codes after the heating. What we did was create thermal expansion with the heat, which then temporarily reconnects some of the cracked solder joints between the chip and the PCV. To fully resolve and fix this board, we'll have to reball that processor. For more information on the reball process, you can check out our video in the top right corner. So this is one of the ones we did hot air to clear the codes or some of the codes, and we did the reball process. And we have throttle. Okay, so this is one of the throttle ones. Now the throttle is working. So that one is good. If you have a CPC4 with no throttle, no engine start, no communication, or any other related failure to the module, let us know. You can send it in for repair. We'll have more information in the description below. And if you want more information on our reball repair, you can check out this video next.